<laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milliken, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we're here this afternoon to assess the strengths and weaknesses of the nominees before you, uh, to learn who we are and what we stand for. As I believe most of you know, I'm here because I care about the people of this riding. I want to serve you in the best way possible, with the power that liberal values bring to bear on the problems we face as a community within a great province, within a great country. There are, it seems to me, four areas of vital concern that will form the context within which the next election will be fought, and a fight it will be. Health care, jobs in the economy, the environment, and education. These are the concerns of most Ontarians, and it will be the party in which the trust of the people concerning these issues is most deeply embedded that will prevail at the polls that will form the next government. We can and we must do better than we have. Catherine Wynne is doing a remarkable job remaking the party, but she needs our help. We need to send a Liberal member to Queen's Park who will remember who they are representing, the people of Kingston and the Islands. If all our representatives in government brought to bear this perspective, as uh, Kathleen Wynne has, the people of this province as a whole would truly be served by Queen's Park, and this province would once again be the flagship province, the Canadian flagship province it once was and will be again. The problems and concerns we face in our community are not unique, but they are shared to a greater or lesser extent by each community in the province. The question, however, must always be, what is best for my community? And to answer that question, I must work hard to listen to what you have to say, to what concerns you have, and to what you want and how you want your lives and the lives of your children to be improved. I believe we would find a remarkable degree of consensus on these matters throughout the province. In attempting to achieve the ends you desire, we cannot be profligate. However, we can and we must make the difficult choices among competing alternative demand, alternatives, demanding our limited and hard-earned resources. That is to say, we cannot have all we want, but we can, as a community, have all we need. And that is what it is the job of your government to deliver. Whenever John had the pleasure of announcing the granting of provincial funding here, he always made the point that it was not the government's money, that was being invested in the riding, but merely some of the community's own money coming home. He knows that all politics is local politics.